Meghan Markle has been easily influenced. Prince Harry and does not want to be constrained by the royal demands, a royal commentator has claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are to split from their joint charity with William and Kate, sparking rumors of an alleged feud between the two couples. Speaking on ITV's Good Morning Britain, royal author Tom Bauer said the row comes as a result of Prince Harry, 34, being easily influenced by Meghan, 37. He said, I think he has found great love with her and at the same time he has married a woman who is very determined and very ambitious, who had a huge career in her terms in Hollywood, and now some extent thinks she is going to have a new career in London. Mr. Bauer claimed Meghan does not want to be constrained by the royal demands of the royal way of doing things. He added, one looks at the way Archie was born, the way it was arranged, the way that they now control extraordinarily their PR and these rumors about them going to Cape Town in South Africa. It's all about an individual Meghan-led operation. And she is not meant to be taking advice from an actor who advertises coffee. She is meant to be taking advice from Buckingham Palace and I think she is resisting it. But royal expert Katie Nichol disagreed and insisted Meghan is not to blame for an alleged division within the royal family. Miss Nichol instead said the time since Meghan joining the royal family has been learning curve for the former actress. She explained, I have spoken to sources who are very close to the Sussexes and I think they would say that this has been an adjustment period for Meghan. Marrying into the royal family is no easy feat. I think the Duchess of Cambridge made it look fabulously easy, and she had a 10-year courtship before. This is a romance that has moved quickly. There have been problems. There has been a bit of a rift. There was a point, I understand, where the brothers weren't taking. I also think there has been a dependency in the media to pit these duchesses against each other. I've said it before but the idea of two duchesses feuding is much sexier than two brothers that have actually fallen out over something. So, I think there have been tensions, but I think this is part of a learning process. Miss Nichols said a division of the Royals Charitable Foundation is simply the next step for the couple. The Royal Foundation was set up in 2009 by Prince William and Prince Harry with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge joining in 2011 after her royal marriage in 2011. Last February, nine months after Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle, all four made an appearance at a forum. The charity announced the split in a statement on Thursday, claiming the decision had been taken following a review of the charity's structure. The statement read, These changes are designed to best complement the work and responsibilities of their royal highnesses as they prepare for their future roles, and to better align their charitable activity with their new households, it added. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are incredibly proud of what they have achieved together through the Royal Foundation. The couples are said to have had several clashes over the last year, with Royal expert Katie Nichol claiming both Harry and William were not speaking to each other for a while. Meghan and Harry also parted Royal households from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge earlier this year and moved to Frogmore Cottage on the grounds of Windsor Castle ahead of the arrival of their first child. Speculation had been running rife that the two brothers locked horns because William believed his brother had married the former Suits actress too hastily. Miss Nichol told Entertainment Tonight, it's absolutely the case that the brothers did fall out. I was told by a very senior royal source that actually they weren't talking to each other at one point. But the royal expert said the birth of Meghan and Harry's son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor has really helped to improve the strained relationship between Harry and William. She added, William is over the moon that his brother is a dad. 